Jones, how are you doing today? Good? I'm doing good, thank you. Uh, my name is Maria and I'm a nursing student from Santa Barbara City College. I'm going to be changing uh, the dressing on your left side. But first, um, can I see your ID then? I need to check your, your name. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? Dorothy Jones, 331-1946. Okay, good. Like I said, I have a doctor's order to change your wound dressing, but I have a few questions before doing that. Are you allergic to latex? No? And how about any sensitivity from the tape they've been using on the dressing? No? Okay. And have you been experiencing any pain or discomfort in previous um, dressing changes? No? Did they give you any pain medication before? No? Okay. Sounds good. I'm just going to clean your table so I can bring the supplies. Jones, I'm going to ask you for a big favor, if you can check, and you can make sure no one uh, puts anything on the table, I'll be right back with the supplies. Now I have all the supplies that I need um, to do the dressing change. I went ahead and did the first check against my doctor's orders in the med room, and now I'm back in the room. Hi Mrs. Jones, I'm back. Um, I have all the supplies to start your dressing change, but just for safety purposes, I need to check your ID again. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? Dorothy Jones, 331-1946. Okay, sounds good. Let me put your bed a little higher. We're gonna start to remove the dressing, okay? If you feel any pain while I'm doing this, just let me know. Okay, and I will check for any smell, color, if there's any drainage, I will check the amount as well. And then I would these are really careful and I would do the same thing I would check for any color if there the color if there's if there's any um, drainage I would check the amount okay and I would assess the wound bed and the peri wound area the skin it looks like it's a hundred percent granulation which is really good the length head to toe okay, 10 centimeters then the waist let's see it's 2.5 and then the depth And then we're going to 
check for tunneling. Looks like there's tunneling at 10 o'clock.
wash my hands and document uh, for I would do a journal for my data I would put how the wound looked uh, if there's any drainage color uh, the percentage and uh, the granulation and then if the patient needed any pain medication for the action I would put all the material that I need to pack the wound and cover it and then as, uh, and if I give any pain medication medication which I didn't and then for the response, I would put um, that the patient tolerated tolerated the um, the procedure with no discomfort.